cool. Hey guys, it's Devin here with Make Anything, and I figured it's finally time to show you some of my older work, because there's a lot of stuff I've done before I even started this channel. So this is a kawaii tsugite joint. Uh, it's a Japanese woodworking joint that's super cool, and I first saw it on Matthias Wandel's YouTube page. He did it in wood, and I figured, why not do it in plastic? This is a very unique and special joint, because, well, first of all, that's a pretty cool connection, if I might say so, but it also has some interesting properties, because not only can it connect straight like this, but it can connect at a 90 degree angle, and also in a second 90 degree angle in a different orientation, and that's based on a 120 degree rotational symmetry, so every time you rotate this 120 degrees, it can connect again. Very cool. Now, I love the joint, so I wanted to come up with some use for it, make it sort of functional somehow. So, the next thing I did was, I went ahead and created this, which is a series of two-sided kawaii tsugite joints. I mean, the possibilities are pretty endless, and the black and white ones here are slightly different, in that if these two are oriented the same, the ones in the back here are kind of facing opposite directions. So that means if you're using just black ones or just white ones, they'll connect in slightly different ways and be restricted in which direction you can connect them. So I really just like that whole mechanism of being able to create different shapes depending on the order and orientation of all these different joints. So this ended up being a pretty cool open-ended construction uh, building block type toy. And it was super satisfying seeing the different ways you can connect them, but it was also kind of frustrating trying to create certain shapes and not being able to because of the orientation of these different joints, which is pretty confusing. So based on that, I decided why not make it into a puzzle? So that's when I created these colorful blocks. So here are four different blocks, and they actually are the four different ways that you can have a double-ended kawaii tsugite joint. With this back end being rotated 90 degrees each time, relative to these all being the same. So that means it can get pretty tricky trying to create certain shapes when only one type of block will let you go in that angle. Based on this whole idea, I created some cards. Here are some of the easier ones, a cube and this little L-shaped pattern. But they also get more difficult and start using more of the blocks. This is what the back side looks like, so there's kind of the puzzle side, and then the solution. And then we've got some really challenging ones here. Alright, so let's go ahead and try one of the easy ones. We'll just do the cube, for example. I mean, I may have created this puzzle, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. And yeah, you've got to kind of figure out which ones will allow you to connect in a different way. This one's really easy, because you have a lot of options. There we go. And there's actually multiple ways to do this, so as you can see, the solution on the back uses different colors than this one, which is typical for the easier ones. Once you start doing the more difficult ones that use all the pieces, uh, it becomes a lot more difficult, and this may be the only way to solve it. I'm not sure, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try a level 2 one now. How about this guy right here? Well, let's start there. I've already got that shape, so... I'm not sure if there's a strategy at this. I'm actually not the best at puzzles in general, but I have been able to solve these a few times. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at how I connect these and the direction that these are facing. Like, this obviously won't work because I'll only be able to go up or this way or straight, but I need to go backwards, so pink isn't the one. I think yellow. There we go. Yellow does the trick. And we can do a blue there. We can do a pink there. It's looking pretty good. Now, I could do another white here, but then this wouldn't be able to close because I would need another white to connect to this one. 
So that's where these limited number of pieces comes into the play. Alright. But here we go. There's a connection that I think I might be able to close. I have one of everything, actually. So I know that I can connect these two. There we go. It's the pink. There we have it. Puzzle solved. Oh, well, I guess I should talk a little bit about how I actually 3D printed these. I mean, that's, that's what the channel's about, right? So, having these four different orientations of the joint meant that I had to print each one in its own unique way. The goal, of course, was to minimize the amount of support material I needed, which is especially important with these joints because wherever there's support material, the surface is going to become a little bit more rough and you're going to have trouble creating a nice clean connection like these joints need. So if I open up the SOLIDWORKS files, you'll see that I have each of these printed in a different way. And I actually created my own support material in SOLIDWORKS that is as minimal as possible. And the yellow one is interesting, because unlike all the other ones which I printed flat on one of the sides, I printed this one at an angle, because that just ended up being the best way to print that specific orientation. It's pretty interesting that each one has their own way to print. Alright, well, I thought it was a pretty neat little print. Let me know if you guys liked it, if you want me to print more puzzles in the future. That's something I can definitely do. Well, until next time, I'm Devin, and this is Make Anything. Stay inspired. Oh, one more thing, guys. I got this really cool, color-changing LED strip sent to me, and, uh, it's battery powered or USB powered, so I think that's pretty cool that you can make a lot of portable stuff with it. And I have a few projects in mind, but since you guys are always so creative and inspired, I figured I'd run it by you guys first. So if you have any suggestions of what I can do with this two meter strip of waterproof, uh, color changing LED strip, leave it in the comments and maybe it'll show up in one of the next episodes. All right, see you guys.